Hey guys, so I'm so excited. Today's video is completely not planned and something that just spontaneously came to me. So I've been breaking out recently and I've decided that I wanted to make a full coverage kind of glowing radiant makeup in order to show you guys kind of how I achieve a full coverage makeup with also my everyday makeup and exactly how I get this glowy look when my skin may not be completely perfect. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I cover blemishes, how I cover redness, and how I cover, wait let me try to say this, eczema? I hope I'm saying that right because last time you guys threw a fit trying to correct me. So I hope I'm saying that right, fingers crossed, let me know in the comments below. But I'm going to try to not talk too long, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, but before I do I just want to give you a quick overlap and show you what the look looks like. My eyes are kind of my everyday look right now, I've been using the Lorac Pro Palette and as for foundation I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get this look. Um, I also have a ton and ton and ton of little, you know, talk through tips as I'm doing my makeup uh, that I feel like you would probably wouldn't have gotten if I just did a um, voiceover. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I just wanted to point out to you guys exactly what I have going on with my skin. Um, mostly my cheeks are very, very red and sometimes on my chin. My forehead is pretty much okay. Um, it usually doesn't really get breakouts. I used to get breakouts all along my hairline, but that no longer happens, thank goodness. My nose really never gets breakouts. It's usually just my cheek area right here. Um, basically, I don't get those huge pimples that are just, you know, come and go like most people do. Um, I get those around my period and when I'm hormonal, but besides that, um, the only other thing I get are these little, little bumps that just come and like they, they, they just go all over my cheeks. And I so the first thing I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Relita Lift Miracle Blur. It's basically just a primer that blurs your pores and it's something I absolutely adore. So I'm going to take a tiny, tiny bit on my finger, as you can see right there. And I'm going to apply this all over my face. Whenever I have blemishes, I tend to uh, go for blurring and um, matte primers because I want to even out my skin's texture and just kind of um, make my blemishes a little bit less uh, noticeable. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi uh, Foundation. I literally love this stuff because in the spring I really, really love a dewy finish. And actually one of my close friends who breaks out relatively often recommended this to me because she is a pro at covering acne. And um, she says that this is a very, very like layerable uh, foundation. And so when I tried it, I totally saw that and I agree with her 100%. So... To apply this, I usually use a sponge or my hands because I feel like that gives me the best coverage and then like to buff it in with either a buffer brush or, again, a sponge. Uh, so I'm going to apply this straight to my face because I don't like, when I like a little bit of foundation, I, you know, dab it on the back of my hand, but when I need full coverage, I just put it straight on my face. Like that. And then I go in with my sponge, my beauty blender, and just pat it. Now you guys on camera probably cannot see my blemishes at this point, but I, looking in a mirror, can. And this is basically, it gives me one you know, coat, but the blemishes still go down my neck, and at this point is where I put it on the back of my hand, probably like one and a half pumps, and this is where I go uh, with the beauty blender and just spot cover, so right here I have um, a lot over here, so it kind of goes in a Y shape. And then the other side, I have a lot right here. Right there. 
And then basically all I do is just pat it in that area. As I said, it's a very, very buildable coverage. Now next, I go in with a concealer underneath my eyes because I kind of like to let my foundation just set. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my NYX HD concealers. Uh, this was recommended to me recently by a subscriber, so thank you whoever recommended it to me. I've been loving it. Um, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes. Now, I use two different colors, one that is super, super light and one that is kind of a medium slash my skin tone color because I like to use a very brightening uh, color underneath my eyes to make me look a little bit more awake. Since I have pretty dark under eye circles, you probably can't tell in this lighting, but they're definitely there. And then I like to blend that down um, to my skin tone using the darker concealer. And this one's actually one that I use sometimes just to um, cover up blemishes if I'm on the go and I really need to cover up some blemishes. And again, I use my Beauty Blender because it gives me the best coverage. And I just tap this. To cover up under eye circles. Now I'm going to be using the Sonia Kashuk um, little uh, 07 Hidden Agenda Concealer Palette. Basically, I have some problem areas along my face. Um, I've recently been getting a lot of um, eczema. Thank you for the correction, by the way, to anybody who corrected me in my previous video. Um, I've been getting eczema around my chin over here and around my nose. Um, I never realized that this really dry patch on one side of my nose was eczema. I thought it was just my dry, dry skin. But it's when uh, your skin basically flakes a lot and it just has this patch of dry skin. Um, and I've been getting that a lot around this nose area. So what I do is I use a cream concealer to cover that. Usually I like to moisturize that very, very thoroughly every night, daily, morning, night, all the time. And so I'm going to be taking this right here and taking the light color over here with this little brush from Sonia Kashuk. It's the 872. And I'm going to be just buffing this in. All I'm trying to achieve is a neutralized, you know, nose area. Um, Alright, so as I said, sometimes you can see through um, my foundation and see the blemishes there. And I do like to um, have a dewy finish, so I don't like to powder my face using any matte powders. Um, I do love that underneath my eyes, but besides that, um, nothing really suits my font, see? But um, recently I've started doing this new thing and I have absolutely fallen in love with it. So I've had the Bare Minerals foundation for quite some time and this one's in fairly light. But basically I use this as a powder, um, as a setting powder for whichever foundation I'm wearing. Now I don't use a lot, I put a very very little amount in the top lid, it's usually this much. Um, and I take a nice big um, brush, and I actually am very particular with which brushes I use. Um, for the longest time I've been using this Pirouette brush, um, and I'll link Pirouette down below. Um, they sent this to me a really, really long time ago. I didn't really make a video about it um, until recently I've started using the brushes and actually fallen in love with them. Um, but it's very awesome for this type of foundation. I don't know, it's just, it's been fantastic. So what I do is I put this on, you know, the brush and I kind of just pat it like so in the cap and just tap off excess. And what I do is I pat it along my face and just blend it. So you can see the difference where this side is a little bit more matte but it has that luminosity to it. Over here it just looks kind of oily, I guess. But I really, really, really like the way it turns out. So this is the point where I feel absolutely confident with my skin. My skin is finally covered up, there's no redness, and it stays on all day. I have this dewy finish, so it looks like I have a healthy glow. It's my favorite thing ever. And this is where I move on to kind of my everyday makeup, where that includes, you know, eyebrows and eyes, 
and everything. So let's go ahead and get into that. So then I take my Urban Decay Primer Potion and prime my eyelids for some eyeshadow. And uh, with primers, I really don't have a preference. I just go between the Lorac Primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, in Sin, and many other, you know, colors that they make. So my go-to palette has been the Lorac Pro. Um, it's by far one of my favorite palettes, and the first color I always start with is Nude, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's the one that's been most used. And I'm just going to be taking any eyeshadow brush that has a really big, um, like, flat side, because I like to put on my eyeshadow relatively simply by just patting it in. So I put it on to one side of the brush, and I simply pat it. And I'm using the color Nude. And I really like my lid color to be super duper um, intense. So that's why I pat it. Then I like to go in with Mauve and put that into my outer crease as just a general outer crease color and I kind of do a windshield wiper motion Then I go in with a more compact brush and I go in with the color Espresso into the kind of outer corner and I take a very very little bit of it because it's super duper, super super duper, super 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 pigmented. And then all I do is I go in with the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 and I just blend this um, kind of on the outer part of the eye though, but I just blend it by going back and forth. And last, I like to go in with the Sigma, if this still had a number. I think this is the E30, but basically just a giant blending brush. And all I do is to like blend everything together. I just go back and forth in a windshield wiper motion and get everything kind of more smoky than precise. Because if you can see the difference between these two eyes, this one looks really precise. I like it to be more smoky for every day. Uh, the precision is mostly for nighttime for me. Um, throughout the day, I like it to be very light. Then I go in with cream, which is this nice nude color, basically, and I apply it um, underneath my eyebrow slightly to just highlight the shape. Then I just apply um, liner. I've been using two recently, and the first one has been the 
Schwing uh, Black Liquid Eyeliner from The Balm, which has been my go-to favorite for the longest time. Now normally for mascara, I like to just try out the one that is newest at the drugstore because I love mascaras and right now, well at least the first one that I came across today in the drugstore was the Flamed Up uh, Mega Curl from CoverGirl and I love CoverGirl mascaras so this is actually going to be my first try um, using it so let's go ahead and get this on my eyelashes. I'm just going to go ahead with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and apply this in my waterline to just brighten up my eyes. Once my eyes are done, I usually go in with bronzer, blush, and contour. And the bronzer I've been using recently is the Chocolate uh, Soleil Bronzer from Too Faced because it smells like chocolate and who doesn't love the smell of chocolate? So I take this brush also from Pirouette. It's number 04. Um, I really like these for powder products. So anyways... Then I go in with the NYX HD uh, Studio Grinding Blush, and this one is in Nutmeg, and it's by far my favorite color, and I literally just take a tiny, tiny bit on a brush. It is so, so, so pigmented, and I just go and lightly apply it. You see how little I used, and that like gives such a nice, nice color. And then lastly, to highlight just a little bit more, I like to go in with this Physician's Formula Translucent Pearl. It's a powder palette, mineral glow, um, basically it's a highlighter, and I love this stuff. I've been using it on everybody that I've been doing um, prom makeup for. I just broke it a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, the lipstick I've been using recently is Nude List, which is from Maybelline. It looks like this. Basically, I need the color. Nude. And then I've been using this lip gloss that I got from Estee Lauder. It is in Pink Innocence and it's literally such a beautiful, beautiful color and I've been obsessed with it. There you go. So this is pretty much the entire makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I just feel like I don't see enough dewy skin, glowy skin, uh, full coverage makeup. And I just wanted to show you guys because I am obsessed with it. And as always, all the products I used in this video are listed down below. And if you'd like any of them, you could probably find them over there. Uh, please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and on my vlog channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, bye.